Hey y'all, I'm Shanice Walker. I thank you so much for clicking the button and finding some importance in what I have to say. Look y'all, um, I know I just slaughtered my whole intro, but it is what it is y'all. I got a word for y'all today. Um, some of y'all know that I work third shift, some don't, but look baby, I work third shift. So just a little disclaimer, I may be looking um, broke, busted, and disgusted most mornings when i get up here to record my content for you guys but look over the way that i look um i may look happy sometimes i may look bright bright eyed and bushy tailed sometimes i may look tired and just done and over it but look um i will come up here and give you what thus says the lord regardless of how i feel or how i look i hope you guys take it for love but i want to get right into the message and i'm not gonna hold you for too long um, as I was communing with God yesterday, um, right before I went to bed, um, I heard God say speedy recovery. I heard him say speedy recovery. And, uh, in that moment, I asked God, you know, just what he meant by speedy recovery. And, um, throughout the day, God just ministered to me about how he was transforming your life. He is transforming your life. And I know that, um, this word was meant for me, but it was also meant for you. This word is not for everybody. Take it back to God. As a matter of fact, it will more than likely resonate with you if it is for you. Um, God said that right now you are going through a speedy recovery. You have went through some things in your life. Look, there has been so many devils that has tried to stop this transformation in your life. There's been so many things that have transpired in your life that led up to this moment. Look, you are a fighter. It took, <laughs> it took for you to go through hell and high water, literally, to get to where you are on today. God wants you to know that you are about to experience a speedy recovery. And what do I mean by that, y'all? This is what the Holy Spirit gave me about um, a speedy recovery. Everything that was taken from you, everything that you had to struggle with um, in your last season, God is making it happen for you quickly. There will be no more delay. There will be nothing else standing in your way. There won't be anything that's trying to, well, I'm not going to say there won't be anything that's trying to come against it because we know that the devil stays busy. He is always seeking for whom he may devour. So God wants you to know that there will be no struggle. There will be no struggle. Um, everything will come to you easily in this season. This is going to be your speedy recovery. There has been so many things that you had to go through before you got here. But God said you went through it. You went through it with him. You was able to endure. You endured that pain. You, en you endured that hurt. You endured when people was talking about you, when, it, when things just didn't look right, when what God spoke over your life didn't seem to be coming to pass. God said this is your season for speedy recovery. Recovery. Everything that the enemy stole from you, it is now being restored swiftly. Swiftly. It is being restored so quick. Look, you are walking through the doors of something that you have never seen before. This, this moment in your life is going to be great. Everything that you went through, it brought you to this moment right here. Last season, God was teaching you. He was teaching you. He was teaching you his ways. He was teaching you how to um, endure, how to fight past the pressure, how to do what he would, would have for you to do. God said, in this season, this is about to be a speedy recovery for you. And like I said, this message is not meant for everybody. But if you are in this season of your life, you know it. If you are aligned with this word, you will know it. A speedy recovery. You're going to look in the mirror and you yourself will not recognize the new woman or the new man that you are becoming. There's going to be people, excuse me, y'all. There's going to be people around you 
that have not seen you since the betrayal, that have not seen you since they lied on your name. These people have not seen you since they put their foot in your back and wanted you to be down bad. But when they see you again, baby, they are not going to recognize you. You are going to look like a new man. You're going to look like a new woman. God said he, he hid you. He hid you for a specific reason. And when you pop back out, now let's not get it twisted. It's not for you to stunt on anybody. But God said the ones that thought that they was going to see you down bad, those are the ones that he is preparing a table for you in front of. Those are the ones that he wants to see his glory in your life. The ones that thought that you wasn't going to have nothing. The ones that thought that you was going to be homeless, down bad, broke, busted, disgusted, depending on somebody else. God said he going to show forth his glory in your life. He fits to show these people. If they do not know by now, they are about to know. That there was nobody else that could have done this for you but God. And some of these people had to be separated um, out of your life. Some of these people had to get out of your life because God did not want them to get the glory for your story. He didn't want them to say, if it wasn't for me, she wouldn't have had this. Or if it wasn't for me, she wouldn't be doing it like this. If it wasn't for me, she wouldn't have that house. If it wasn't for me, she wouldn't have that car. If it wasn't for me, she would have never started that business. God said that's why he had to get them out the way. That's why before he started to elevate you, they had to move. He had to take them. He had to separate you from these people because he's going to get the glory out of your story. Now, now person in the flesh, now enemy, now devil will be able to get the glory for what God has done in your life. You and God have, you have been a co-creator. You have co-created with God. This the last season of your life. You struggled. You had to struggle last season. You had to go through some things. You had to endure some things. God had to show you some stuff. God had to show you the hearts of the people that was around you. And these people meant you no good. And now you see that. Now you see what type of heart these people got. Had it not been for God separating you from some of these people, you, you would have tried to drag these people into what God has for you. And God said, no, there was no way that he was going to bless you and you were still attached to, to some evil hearted, evil minded, wrong doing type of people. God said they could not go where he taking you, but he is preparing a table for you in the midst of these people, the same people that talked about you bad, the same people that wanted to see you down and out, the same people that couldn't walk a mile in your shoes, the ones that can't do nowhere near compared to what you do. Because see, you don't have to ask nobody for nothing. You don't have to ask nobody for help. You don't have to do, you don't have to do any of that. And you know, I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with asking anybody for, for help because, you know, we all need help every now and then. But you did not make it your priority to lean and depend on somebody else for anything because you knew where your help came from. God took you through a season of leaning and depending strictly on him. And there were some days that you were scared. You didn't know. You didn't know how you was going to make it out on the other side. You didn't know how things was going to look for you. You didn't know how, what the outcome was going to be. But God was able to get you to a place where you was fully trusting and understanding that your help comes from him and him alone. And that's what I mean. When I say you didn't have to depend on people, you didn't have to depend on nobody for your happiness, for your peace, for your joy, for your, for your wealth. You didn't have to depend on nobody, but God made a way for you. He made a way for you in your wilderness. That's what I hear the Holy Spirit saying on today. You was in a wilderness season.
And God said, now it's your time. It's time for you to pop out. Like I said in my last message, it is a snatchback season for you. And like I said, this message is not for everybody. It's not for everybody. But if it's res if it resonates, if you know, then you know. This is your snatchback season. Everybody that wanted to see you down and out, baby, bless them. Bless them. Still wish the best for them. Still hope and wish and pray and deep down inside really bless these people because they really know not what they do for real they knew that something was different about you they knew but baby they did not know that you was the chosen one they did not know but god said in this season Everybody will know. Everybody will know. There will be no more denying that you are a child of God. You are a chosen vessel. God chose you. God chose you. And this is your season to snatch back every single thing that the enemy thought that he was going to keep and hold against you and keep from you. God said, you got a purpose. You got a purpose. There is something that he placed on the inside of you. Hear the Holy Spirit on today. There is something that he placed on the inside of you. And he will go to war behind the, the, the thing that he has placed on the inside of you. God's word will never return to him void. Whatever that thing is that he spoke over you, God will guard you. God will protect you. So that you can get so that you can get his will done for your life. There are so many people attached to you. There are so many people attached to what you have, to what you hold. This is your speedy recovery. Everything that you thought you couldn't have, everything that they said you wouldn't have, all the doors that slammed in your face, all the opportunities that was missed because you wasn't aligned with what God said that you needed to be in that season. Baby, this is your speedy recovery and it is all coming back to pass. And in this season, this time, you're going to keep it. You're going to sustain it. It's going to grow. This thing is about to overtake you. It is bigger than you. It is about to overtake you. I love y'all. That's the message. I love y'all. If you have not subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell so that you do not miss another video from God. Hit the like button. By hitting the like button, it pushes the videos out into the algorithm and it helps reach more people. So hit the like button. I love y'all. And I hope and pray that you have a blessed and prosperous day. I will see you on the next video. Bye.